Celebrated author Garrison Kyler once said that a book is a gift you can open again and again. Well, our next guest wants to do just that in a new book series hoping to spark change through science. Here to tell us more about this exciting book project is DOST Secretary Fortunato de la Peña. Secretary, thank you so much for joining us. How did the idea for this book series come about? Well, actually, in 2020, we chose to come out with initially three books that can show to the people the kind of programs that we have, like how to commercialize a technology that comes out from R&D, how to introduce technology to our small and medium enterprises, and how to contribute to resilience of communities. And we got very good feedback out of these three. So I thought that since the end of this term, okay, is about to end, that 2016 to 2022, maybe this is the best time to report to the people through our books, through our narratives, what has happened, and these are basically in 10 different program areas. And taking a look at the books right now on your screens, no? uh, the focus is basically on science for change, science for innovation, science of cooperation, human capital, communities. Uh, Secretary, how did you choose these topics and the authors for these books? Well, basically, uh, my style is, of course, participative management. So mm -hmm. the top, together with my top officials, we decided what would be the uh, information and stories that we would like to share with our fellow Filipinos. And uh, it came out naturally that uh, those uh, programs that are uh, designed to carry out uh, uh, our vision of bringing science to the people, okay, and... Uh, as, uh, all of them, all of these uh, colleagues of mine were overseeing specific programs. And uh, so that is how we chose the authors, uh, my, my co-officials co at DOST, with the exception of two uh, business women who actually helped us write uh, our uh, book in 2020, Science for Success. Uh, um, and this was uh, on the experiences of SMEs that introduced technology in their Operation. So now they wrote the book on science for innovation, which is really for startups. What was the most challenging part about writing and creating this series, Secretary? Well, first of all, we had to identify clearly who are our audiences. Uh, for mm -hmm. example, when uh, we write about the uh, new uh, research centers that we have helped build in the provinces or in the regions, uh, we would like to uh, address, for example, our uh, industry and uh, also the academe uh, who will benefit from information uh, what is being done in the area of R&D and science and technology in the regions. You know? Or for students, uh, uh, for example, how we can... Uh, uh, show them the, the opportunities uh, that they can have because our scholarships has uh, lifted our poor people out of poverty, not only the scholars themselves, but the uh, families. In the area of uh, uh, innovation, uh, we, we need to identify who uh, we are going to target. And these are, of course, the startup founders and uh, also those who are still dreaming of putting their own mm. startup technology-based companies. And uh, one of the more difficult uh, things is to how to uh, look for people who can uh, share with us their experience internationally. It was good that uh, we have fellow Filipinos who have been based abroad who did share their, uh, their uh, experiences uh, in this. For international collaboration, uh, we, we definitely had to emphasize that we cannot... Uh, 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 do science and technology without international collaboration. So it was also the, the choice of who will be featured in this. We yes. have to be, uh, yeah, uh, we have to do it so, uh, carefully. So, Secretary, I'm just really curious, no? which book in this series did you enjoy the most writing about? Well, uh, 
I uh, enjoyed writing about science for change because uh, I uh, this is really, uh, shall we say, a, a very high priority for me on how to make uh, science and technology and research and development more inclusive, uh, spilling it out, distributing it to the regions, not, not only in the metropolitan area. And so we had to, uh, well, we had to select a few examples out of the 35 or so that we have put up uh, as of September. Yes. And uh, of course, the science for innovation is also my favorite because this is really uh, uh, looking after our uh, startups. For our viewers uh, watching us right now, uh, Secretary de la Peña on the final word, uh, where can uh, they get their own copies of this book series? Okay, so at the moment, uh, uh, we, we have posted, uh, and this is uh, downloadable for uh, free in uh, the website of uh, DOST, sftpbooks.dost uh, at gmail.com. Uh, so this is downloadable without any charge, okay, and uh, uh, free. And uh, we have also have a distribution list. But uh, for those who want to have a hard copy of the book, uh, this is not yet for sale. We are still arranging for a uh, the selection of a publisher that can uh, sell it uh, in the bookstores uh, for for best best the best proposal for the benefit of our public. But uh, we have. Uh, uh, allocated 200 copies for first come first serve. Mm. Just uh, email, uh, email it at the same uh, address sftpbooks.dost at gmail.com and indicate when they would like to pick up. Pick I, up will be between December 9 to December 15 at the Science and Technology Information Institute. I definitely want a hard copy, a secretary, uh, because I want you to sign the book. But uh, Yes, yes, <laughs> I will give you the entire set of five books. <laughs> but secretary, is this uh, only uh, a series of five or are you going to be extending this series as, uh, going yeah. forward? So ongoing is the writing of the other five. Mm. We have the uh, sci science for COVID-19 because we have uh, spent a lot of effort on COVID-19 mm -hmm. for the last two years. We have uh, uh, science for disaster risk reduction and uh, then we have uh, uh, science for uh, 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 communicating science, which is, I think, very important. And we have a book on uh, assisting inventions and inventors and uh, uh, there is a 10th uh, 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 book Okay, I cannot recall the title. Ah, this is uh, Science and the Arts. Right. The, uh, the Marriage of Science and the Arts. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us in the final word and all the best with this book series, DOSC Secretary Fortunato de la Peña.